stand up here, please, from the edge of the dance floor. A nice round of applause for Father of the Bride. Bill Cronin. The first thing I want to say is congratulations to Mary and to John. Uh, they're just, they're a lovely couple. And uh, we, we're really glad to have John as part of the family. Now, Lorraine and I have been very blessed uh, with each other with our, our children, our grandchildren, our extended family, and our friends. And now we're blessed even further because we've added another family and their friends. So we're, we're very glad that all of you are here to join in with us. Uh, I hope you all uh, have a, a great evening. The wedding uh, gods were with us today, and uh, we're very thankful for that. And uh, that's... All I want to say, <laughs> enjoy your evening meal, and have a great time afterwards, and uh, so glad to have you all here. Thank you, Mr. Cronin. All right, I'm writing over here now to the edge of the dance floor. The sister of the bride, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for Matron of Honor, Julie Wallace. First, I wanted to say how proud I am of my little sister. She seems to do everything well so, and look gorgeous doing it. Uh, you know, between career and school and more school and more school, and house and dog and you know, everything that everything she does. Very proud, and I'm very proud that she's made this commitment to marriage, and um, we're thrilled to have John as our new brother. The second thing I wanted to say was about all of you here, and what Father was saying in the homily about, you're not just wedding guests, but you're a support system for Mary and John. Now, he mentioned that marriage has trials and tribulations. I've only been married four years, so I haven't really seen that yet. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, although it's a great comfort to the couple that everyone assembled here is part of their support system. And there's probably hundreds of years of marriage experience in this room. And we're all here to support them and help them and make their marriage, help them make their marriage long and successful. So I'd like to propose a toast. First to Mary and John, and a very long and happy marriage. And to all of you uh, for being here and for agreeing to support them for a hopeful, hopefully 50 years or more. So. Also, I suppose that there's a lot of, you know, profound things written about love and marriage that I could probably draw from that would sound a lot better than what I'm about to say, but I'm going to quote a lesser known philosopher, J.W. Wallace, <laughs> who says, marriage is great because you always have your best friend to play with and somebody else to do half the things you don't like to do. Ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, the sister of the bride, Julie Wallace. Okay, now I'd like to invite over here to the edge of the dance floor and have everybody please stand. The bride and groom remain seated. The best man, he's the brother of the groom, Matt Brooks. How's everybody doing? No pressure, right? No pressure. Um, I'm going to have to come back there by these two here in just a few minutes, but I have prepared a few notes, so be prepared. And if I do mess up, that's okay, because that's what it's all about, enjoying ourselves. Um, I first of all just want to say i welcoming everybody here this evening. So ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and family, it's time to turn our attention toward the beautiful couple. 
For those of whom I have not had the pleasure to meet, yes, I am the brother uh, to John, Matt Brooks. And in case you can't see John from here, you might be wondering who's older. <laughs> but I'm going to point out something that everyone needs to know. <laughs> Even though he looks older, I actually am. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm usually the wiser one, the looking one. Oh, wait a minute. Different speech. I probably shouldn't be talking about myself here, right, Mary? Instead. That's what older siblings do. Sure. The middle children. Absolutely. All kidding aside, I would like to thank each and every one of you for making the trip to come here. Um, it means a lot to my family, and I know it means a lot to Mary's family that you guys all came. I do want to pause and just say that I think that the bridesmaids, they all look very lovely. You guys have done a very nice job. Dresses are beautiful. And there's only one person in the room that outshines them, and that's Mary. And I think everyone would agree that she's a very stunning bride today. Now, you guys know that as a older brother, I have a lot of things on my younger brother, John. We could pull out the Rolodex and we could spend it for a while, I'm sure. I got a few doozies, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. There's a couple things that we need to know about John. I think at a very young age, this man had a tendency to be a streaker. <laughs> At the age of two or three, he would come prancing out of the bathroom with nothing on but his birthday suit and a towel wrapped around his head, screaming, Make it cheaper! Make it cheaper! <laughs> what did you say, Mary? Oh, John still does that? <laughs> Alright, I got it. <laughs> I'm also going to avoid stories of how it came to be that John had to receive a handwritten note from Santa Claus one year. It was 7th or 8th grade, right John? <laughs> Explaining how it was a little more than time that Santa needed to shift his time and attention to the younger kids to make toys. I don't know what he did, but somehow to this day, John still gets more presents than any six-year-old kid I know. <laughs> Serious. If you come to my house on Christmas, it's all about John. <laughs> so, Mary, I'm prepping you now. He turns into Ralphie every year at Christmas. And for those of you who don't know John when he was a young kid, he looks exactly like the kid Ralphie, the lead kid in the Christmas story movie with the glasses. That was my brother, John. <laughs> Ralphie. Finally, I'm not going to mention anything at all about John's 21st birthday. We are at a family restaurant, and the guy is puking in the bathroom. And by the end of the night, he's saying, I love you, man, to everyone. Including people like at the bar and at the gas station. <laughs> I love you, man. So tonight, if he comes by and hugs you and says, I love you, man, it's just because he's drunk. <laughs> but you know, all that John experienced growing up has helped him turn into a very successful man. And I really couldn't wish for more from a brother in my entire life. He's always been there for me. And Mary, I want you to know, you're getting a rock of a man, and he's going to be there for you too. And it can be very hard to accept that your little brother's growing up. He's turned out to be an amazing human being, who I've had more than enough life stories to probably bury them. Um, I'm proud to claim him as my brother and as my best friend. I mean, he's getting ready to start his life with this very wonderful woman who we will all agree is someone that's very special. So, to Mary, the brave soul who decided to join the party. 
even after you got a witness, John turned into the Incredible Hulk <laughs> at that hospital two weeks years ago and tried to literally take on an entire security force at the <laughs> hospital. Many of you may not know this, but Mary uh, was thrust into getting to know my family at a very trying time. As John lay unconscious um, in a hospital bed, potentially dying of sepsis as all of his organs were failing. And Mary, the angel that she is, literally saved my brother's life and in the meantime captured his heart forever. For everything that you did, Mary, that night as I drove 11 hours to get to my brother, I knew he was in good hands because of you. My family will be forever indebted to you, and you always have a place at our dinner table. Amen. So today, it's my extreme pleasure to ask everyone to raise your glass to John and Mary. May angels watch over you both, trouble neglect you, may your tears be from laughter, and may your love always be the light that guides your lives together. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, that's one of the cards. Fantastic. The best man, Matt Brooks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to invite you all to be seated. The dinner service will begin in just a moment.